Hey guys, so I got new Absolver gameplay for you again. Sorry about some of the lag in the video, I had no control over it, but I hope you can still enjoy the video. This game is basically a, uh, it's like a open world melee fighter, that's yeah. the best way I can describe it. It has lots of fighting game elements, a whole boatload of them. Uh, let's see, is this my character or is this another character from earlier? Let's check. Uh, where's my skill? Oh, I have a weapon. Oh yeah, I think this is my character from earlier, so that makes things a little easier. So the way it works is here I am, here's my character, I can kind of move around. And there's all these different styles. Which style am I right now? We'll find out when I fight someone. Uh, but uh, it's really basic. There's like a fa there's like this fast attack. Oh, I'm the drunken style right now, which is super nice. There's this slower attack you can do. And then uh, this style, you'll see it when I fight some enemies, has like a unique dodge mechanic where you can dodge and that goes into an attack. Oh, nice. Uh, there's also weapons. I can't use my weapon just yet, but I will be able to soon. Didn't you say before that the drunken style is kind of a combo of two styles? So right now there are four styles in the game. There's parry style, uh -huh. there's dodge or evade style, there's uh, armor style, that's the place where I can describe it, and then there's this drunken style. The drunken style to me seems kind of like a mix of the evade style and uh, the parry style, and yeah. that when you evade, it also becomes a little bit of an attack. Ah, so if you can okay. use the evade well in this style, then you can kind of uh, still be aggressive even while the opponent is attacking you, yeah, which yeah. I think is pretty cool. That's pretty smart. Anyway, let's see if we can find some stuff. I don't really know the environments that well yet, but we'll kind of figure it out as we go. Yeah, that's one of the nice things, because this is a, unlike your traditional one-on-one -on -one kind of fire. It's, it's super open, open world. world. Uh, the yeah. way it works with the environments is uh, there are shared environments that are server-wide, and then there are like the private environments where you can like 1v1 someone, or there's even a three-on-three -three mode, I believe, that's coming at some point, nice. and things of that nature. Uh, right now, I think mostly 1v1 stuff is implemented, but uh, there will be more later. All right, so here's a guy I can lock onto, and I'll kind of use that to give you an idea of the skills that you can have. Let's see. So Mandy. this is like the very opening tutorial. Yeah, this kind is of kind of like the beginning. It just shows you like how things start. There we go. So now that I'm locked on this guy, uh, here's an example of like some attacks I can do. And if you look at the top left, there's my life and there's also my stamina. One thing that's really cool and kind of high level is see when I do this attack, yeah. there's kind of like a little triangle icon that comes up, right? Oh, so well, if I press another attack during that, I missed nice. it there, I'll try to do it. I flash, that next attack will come out faster and will have better recovery. Nice. So it's really useful during combat when I'm, uh, you know, just doing certain things. Okay, cool, I just frame a lot and it saves me stamina, my attacks come out faster. With the drunken style, I kind of have these unique dodges too. So here's one. It like moves back and does a kick. Here's one where I move to the side and then I hit the opponent. Nice. Here's one that goes this way. What does the up do? I forgot. Oh yeah, it's like a forward moving kind of attack. This one doesn't really dodge anything, but it's still nice for just kind of approaching nice. the opponent. So uh, there's also the weapons. Let's see if I can use one right now. I don't have enough uh, meter for it, if you will. But uh, if you look on the bottom left where I'm pressing up, there's my sword there. And if I kind of fight enemies a lot and I build up meter for it, I can use that weapon in combat. There's also the heal, which is the left option. And I actually don't know what this right option does yet, which goes to show you that I still need to spend more time. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, let's see. One thing I quite like is you say you, you get the triangles on the back which gives you that indication of when you should be doing a special Oh yeah, attack. so it, te it tells you when you can get the just frames essentially. Like you see, I just got one there. Yes. And you see, I, it made it a lot easier with the guy I was fighting and it just does like way more damage when you do get it. So uh, there's kind of a high level game to it there. Yeah. But uh, you know, just because you use the, the just frame attacks, if you will, doesn't mean that they can't just use their dodge or their armor to stop oh, it yeah, anyway, dude. right? So And of course, if you can do it, they can do the same thing, right? So naturally, over time, you'll find that you also have to deal with all the crazy just frame attacks that the opponent can do. One thing I thought was quite nice as well with that, which is sort of like, it feels like it's, because that's sort of, you know, you know your stuff kind of play. But at the top, the way one of the developers described it to me, someone who hasn't played a ton of fighting games, you get a different meter for leave the health bar, and he described it as like, it's like active reload from Gears of War. Uh, something like that. that, uh, that like, it, it's oh. actually a mechanic that has been used in fighting games before. Uh, one of my favorite characters, uh, Scion, from uh, the game Under Night Inbro, she has the same thing. When she reloads her gun, it's exactly like Gears of War. Yeah. You can do like the special reload, and if you yeah. do, you get better bullets that make her attacks better. So it's cool to see that concept around. It's fun not just for shooters, but I think it's good for yeah, any game in it's general. It's nice. It, the, the main thing to me, though, was that there was that concession of, like, people who know fight games going to know this system already, whereas they've got that extra bar at the top, which is for someone like me who's played Gears of, Gears of War, played a bunch of games, but not necessarily played fight games. I know that system. So it's kind of got us both covered for understanding, like, a reasonably high-level kind of technique. 
Yeah, so one thing about the dodges is not only can I dodge side to side like this, but there's kind of like a, uh, oh, I can't do it right now because of this style. But there's like an up dodge and there's a downward dodge. Nice. And uh, dodges are not invincible. They're an actual dodge, right? right? So if I dodge to the right like this and they do a circular attack, it will still, still hit me. Hit. Uh, the same thing with the backwards. If they do like a really nice forward moving attack, that will still attack. That will still get me. So you have to really kind of see which attack is coming and try to dodge at the right time. You can also block, of course. Uh, when I block like this, if the enemies attack me, uh, these guys are like PV enemies, so they're a little weaker. Uh, it will take some of my stamina. stamina. But if you notice, uh, see how that those little kick icons are appearing when I block? Yeah. Uh, that means that there's an attack that I can learn from this enemy. So if I kind of like, you know, beat him up a little bit and then let him keep attacking me with that attack, I'll gain experience in that attack and eventually I'll be able to learn it. I get nice. even more experience for dodging it. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to dodge as he does the attack uh, just to gain experience in that one move. Uh, you do have to defeat the enemy in the end to gain the experience, so I can't just like dodge for a while and then run away. I have to actually make sure to defeat him to gotcha. gain the experience. Uh, to give you an idea of how many skills there are here in the meditation menu, hopefully I do this right because there's a lot to this menu. The RB on this pad has been like rough the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not. Yeah. You're not playing with a fight stick at the moment. <laughs> well, I don't think that this game is well suited to no, fight no, stick because true, yeah. you need the yeah. right trigger yeah. if you or the right uh, stick. If you didn't need the right stick, I actually think that That'd it would be probably nice. be great yeah, to play yeah. on pad. I'm just gonna give myself strength because I don't really know how all the stats work just yet. How do I? Do I have to go back first? Come on, I want to go to the uh, skills menu. Is it LB? Uh, it's supposed RB. to be RB. See how uh, at the top it says RB? Out. Uh, yeah, oh, maybe I can't do it yeah, yet because I'm in not. the tutorial part. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, there's also equipment. This I can kind of go into now. And equipment changes your look. But you can see that there's also like weight and there's protection yeah. both from blunt attacks, which is like melee mostly, and then cut attacks. So if someone has a sword or something That's and you have nice. protection against it, yeah, yeah. Uh, it will help. Uh, also, it changes like your character's look. So like if I put on this or something, see how like my look will change, which is pretty cool. I like that about it. Uh, I'm not sure how many items there are in the game, but there's quite a lot. Even me messing around, I've just found tons of random items just sitting on the ground yeah. that I picked up. Uh, there's also a boatload of skills. Uh, I'm told there's at least 160 skills right now, individual ones that you can gain, and those are broken down uh, among the various stances, but uh, I imagine there'll be even more after that. I think I went this way already, so let me try going this way. I've kind of gotten lost in this area. Even this area is kind of like the opening area, but actually it's quite huge. There's a lot yeah. to this little opening area, so... There's a lot going on in this game. This is one thing to note for people watching. The, this is the tutorial you're playing against just like AIs. Yeah, it's mostly PV enemies, but uh, when I get to a more open world section, I will... Oh, I can talk to this guy. Oh, he's teaching me about the chain teaching attacks, right? Chain attacks. So one thing I can do is... I messed up the last one there, but I did it pretty quick. Yeah, man, I was going to say that was way better than I've done on that. Okay. So now that I've done that, uh, I talk to him again. To get past this door, you have to prove yourself. So now I have to kind of go around this area and just uh, beat up all the lost souls, which are just like PV enemies. Yeah. So we'll do that. Let me unlock from this guy. There we go. I love the, the stance that he goes into. Like when I lock on the guy, woo, he goes yeah, immediately into the, the drunken drunk stance. stance. It yeah. looks really awesome. Uh, this is the newest stance, actually. It was just implemented. Uh, Oh, oh, I can't really? open this door yet. Yeah, uh, there were only the three previous stances I mentioned, the parry style, the armor style, and the dodge style. Uh, this style was actually added later on. My character's kind of strong already, so I'm not surprised that these enemies are dying really quickly. This section's actually a little harder the first time you do it, but... I love how that hits. It's actually really useful. Yeah. And you can, like, just frame behind it like that. This style is really evasive too, so you can see like how the attacks, he really crouches low or he dodges backwards a bit before he attacks. Uh, it's unpredictable even for you as the player at first until you really learn how all the moves work, but uh, once you understand it, it's, it's really yeah. sick, it's well done. Does this guy say anything? I wonder. Oh, never mind, just a practice dummy. All right, let's go this way, I guess. And I'm loving like the way genres are kind of crossing. Yeah, this more game, and more. this game borrows a lot of fighting game elements, kind yeah. of like God of War did. God of War also, uh, there were actually quite a few FGC guys on the development team, and that's why there's so many cool attacks you yeah. can do, and you can kind of mash like a scrub if you want and still win at the game. But yeah. you can also, you can also be super good at it, right? So, okay, I guess I have not killed all the enemies yet. Let's. I guess that guy's online. Go What's up, back that guy? Here. You're on the internet. Let's see if I missed an area or something back here. No, that's locked. Let's try back upstairs again. 
once I kill all the enemies in this area, then I can go to the open world area, and uh, with any luck, maybe we'll run into like another player that's on the beta or something. Yeah. Anyway, uh, graphically, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't translate too well to the stream right now. Thank you, Satellite Internet. But uh, graphically, this game looks really sick. Uh, the, the environments look really nice. The characters look cool. Uh, the armor and the swords and the items look awesome. Oh, there's my sword now, by the way. I can actually hey, equip it. Nice. So. I haven't actually seen weapons in this game yet. Oh, yeah. This weapon's really good. Uh, one thing that's nice about it is that the swords also do chip damage. So if you're fighting like a really defensive enemy, then the you sword can, will be yeah, really yeah. useful to you. Kind of get the long range, little bits of damage in as it goes. There we go. And I learned a few attacks from him. It tells you how much experience you gain in each attack by those little icons that you nice. see. I think, oh, have I been down here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, that was the door that I opened earlier. Here's a uh, respawn point just in case I die. Let's see if I can finally open this. There we go. Hey, All right. Okay. Uh, it's force. Okay, so this is all the stances. Uh, the way that you can switch stances, if I hold the right trigger. Yeah. Oh, I have to be locked on somebody first. So let me lock on I this guess, guy. Yeah, that guy. So when I when I hold the right trigger, if you look on the bottom left, yep. right now I'm kind of in the uh, the general stance. I can also go into a southpaw stance like this, or I can actually be back turned, uh, both southpaw and a right-handed stance. Now, uh, just because you're back turned doesn't necessarily mean that you're weakened. You have like a full string of attacks even from back turn. But if you're really skilled at this, you can actually attack and then back turn and then attack again, or I can back turn and like switch my target and go to another enemy. So there's really high level play and if you're super good at this especially if your level is high you could easily fight multiple opponents yeah. and then turn around during combat and switch which opponent you're fighting uh, things of that nature so with like the southpaw stance stuff like that what difference does that make like, so so i can't go to the menu yet which is what i really want to show yeah uh hopefully i can do that once i uh once i get further along you can also run i keep forgetting that this is an option you just press the left stick like any other game I think this is finally the open environment. I would guess so, yeah. This is looking like an open world reveal. But you can see how large the world is. Yeah, this is man. only one area of it. There are many areas. Yeah. And it's all open world. Uh, you, you can't just run into every player that's the same place as you and that's because then it would get ridiculous and there would be like gang squads that would just come yeah. ruin you right yeah, but uh, yeah. generally if there are like you know it will try to connect you to like three or four other players that are in your area in general oh nice can i finally do this let's see there yes all right so here's my deck right and the way the combat deck works is uh i'll pick this one since i'm in a drunken stance is there sequences for each direction so there's a sequence for the the standard southpaw back turned and then like the back turn southpaw, right? So in my sequence, I can choose which attacks to have. Like I can have this basic, uh, I can have this basic straight punch, and then there's, here's an uppercut I can have. Here's the drunken stomp. Okay, cool, I'll try that out. Each attack has power, speed, and range. It tells you exactly how fast the attack nice. is, which is really useful um, because then you can know, okay, what are my quick attacks and blah, blah, blah. But yeah. even if I'm in this stance, so let's say I'm standard stance, I'm not forced to go through this chain of attacks. You can see on the bottom, there's an alternate ah. attack. So in st let's say I'm doing this and the enemy does something unexpected. I can change my mind and say, okay, well, I'm going to do, you know, the handstand kick instead of doing uh, the elbow stumble or the low kick or whatever else. Uh, the same thing for the other stances, it's really customizable. So here, let's see, I've got like this eye poke, that sounds cool, but I'm gonna try this trip kick. And then here's a, uh, here's like a low kick that I can do. And here's like drunken smasher, I'll leave that there, why not? But this gives you an idea. I don't even have very many of the attacks yet on this account. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you can see whatever I got, like 20 attacks tops or something. Uh, oh, but like I said, there's yeah, 160 yeah. plus attacks. Uh, not too many throws yet, but I understand, although I haven't acquired any yet, I understand there's just like a power driver throw you can get that combos really well. Nice. I have not seen it from any players yet, but I actually am interested in seeing it. Oh, cool, we do still have some time. That felt like it was so long, but actually it was pretty quick. So these, generally, if you find these sorts of guys, Like PvE enemy, yeah. generally. You can usually tell because I think when there's a player, it ha will have, like, their name yeah, above the name them or something. The yeah, uh, yeah. One thing about other players is that uh, I'm told that right now on the beta server, there's kind of like a almost, like, for honor, there's like a casual type of, well, you know, people don't just go and fight you just because they can. Yeah. Uh, they tend to be more friendly or they'll wait until you're in the PvE areas or something, right? Well, I had it described to me by uh, Pierre. You said it's like that martial arts respect. Yeah, th people and that's walk pretty up cool. To each other and 
give but, each other a stance and be like, we're going to fight, right? They won't like be ganking each other or anything like that. It's just a case of me and you are going to fight, right? It's yeah, like, yep. but between between you and me and the stream, uh, Pierre did say that, and I admire that he thinks of it that way. But in my opinion, the real reason why the server is that way is because actually when you see another player, as we've been told, you can't tell what level they are. Yeah. Oh, So yeah, it's not actually true. about being it's not respect, nice. It's, it's more about, well, I could yes. challenge this guy, and maybe he's like 20 levels higher than me. I would yeah. just kick my ass for being an idiot, yeah. right? So I think that's more hey, of what makes people dude. respect each other, and it's less about just Legit. martial arts respect. I think that's also part of the martial arts respect. Like, that makes like sense. In the that real makes world, sense. It's this like, guy could be stronger than me. Maybe yeah. I shouldn't just mess with him, right? You shouldn't just <laughs> run in and start slapping him in the face because he could just grab your arm and break it. But when you do go to the PV areas, obviously, uh, those are that's the whole point of the PV, right? So you can challenge other players. Uh, I'm not sure how far the 3v3 implementation is, but it should be coming soon. Uh, this is like the first beta. I understand that there'll be a second beta before release as well. Nice. I got some gloves there. That's just one of the items you can get. Uh, when you're in these open areas, it's much easier to get items, as you saw. I did love, and this was one thing, I don't know if it's happened for you, but it was one thing I didn't want to tell you because I wanted you to kind of experience it, but I don't think we'll get the chance here. So I got the chance to play eight-player uh, Absolver because they were just setting everything up in the morning for the press. And I'm going around. I'm pretty much getting my ass handed to me like over and over again. But I'm going around, I'm fighting some dude, but I'm not doing too bad, but then he destroys me. But then, there's a thing he could do, he reaches down, picks me up, and that completely heals my character. Oh, yeah, so uh, when you're a part of a group, I think, which I haven't done a yeah, lot yet. Yeah, I think we uh, were all there, You can revive another player, yeah. and I think you can also use your heal on them, but yep. I, I haven't really tried that he, myself yet. He so. revives me, picks me up, and then just sort of stands there in front of me, and I'm like, all right. We, we buds, we buds, like we're not talking, but it's just like I'm standing there as well. And it's like we're friends because I know he can kick my ass already, but he's not fighting me back. So I'm like, all right, we're friends now. And then he, <laughs> he runs off. I follow him. We start taking down two other people and we beat him. And I'm like, this is the best thing that's happened to me in a game in a while because it's that unspoken sort of like, OK, we're going to team up now and do a little thing. I like that about For Honor as well, right? Yeah, like yeah, there yeah. are communication tools in these games. Like you can talk to other players, right? But, uh, you know, it's almost more fun to just pretend that, cool, yeah. I ran to this random guy. You know, well, what are we going to do? Are we going to fight each other? Are we going to team up? Or yeah. what's about to happen? That's what I kind of love about, like, because as much as it's based out of fear, I do like that moment where it's like, all right, what's going to go down here? We going to help each other out or are we going to fight? Because me and you could maybe team up. But it was nice. And then the cool thing was, because we were all in the room, I just got to, when I finished, just walk down the walk down the row of like eight PCs and be like, who was it, who was it, who was it? Oh, it was you. And it's like, hey, we were friends in the game. It was really cool. So yeah, I love that aspect about it. Yeah, I'm definitely interested to see uh, what the final culture of the servers will be like and if there'll be like large just guilds and yeah. squads or if it's going to be just guys trying to one-on-one -on -one it all the time or how it will work out. I definitely like the interested. idea of getting some like guilds going on. That that excites me, getting a group of people that you can all go around, be a team and get other people. <laughs> so that was my heal that I used there. Uh, I guess my sword's gone now. Oh, I have to, oh, it has like a recharge time. I see. That's That makes sense. I'm not sure what this right thing does yet. I will try to do it the next time I see an enemy. Anyway, I, I personally really like this game. Uh, it really appeals to my fighting game side a lot, and it yeah. also appeals to like my MMO side. I was really big on EverQuest. I played World of Warcraft a bit when it first came out, games of that nature. And I feel like this, this game really appeals to both those things. Yeah. So I'm actually a little afraid when this game releases because <laughs> I may just like not come into work for a week and John Marshall might have to go find me or something. But uh, we'll see what happens. Junk, junk and try. Uh, Tekken came out and I haven't disappeared yet, so I think I'll be okay. But uh, I'm not really sure. Devolver, I know, man. De Devolver might have gotten me with this one. The this might be is, the end. With Tekken, it's like even when you're doing online fights, there's a just that and stop. Yeah, so that's if you know true. you gotta go somewhere, you're like, okay, well I've done like five rank, I can get out of here. Yeah, that's true. You this could be like, okay, time to go. Stop. <laughs> no, just, it's true. I it's could persistent. just I could just go on forever. Yeah. One thing about the heal is that it does have some startup, so I can't just use it. This guy's pretty tough. I like the idea of John seeking you out. He like, might have to. He knows down. where I live. 
<laughs> I, it won't be a hard look. It's like, I already knows what my house is. I actually, I had a question about it. So is, have they building anything in four tournaments or how, how would you organize competition? So, so it hasn't really been determined yet. They've discussed the idea. Uh, there is a, a 1v1 mode in the game. So you can just <laughs> kind of be 1v1 one one in the area and no one else can interrupt your fight. Uh, and with 3v3, it's going to be the same thing. It's like you make your three-man group and then you join and then another three-man group joins and you guys just fight. Uh, the fights are already designed to be best of five, which is perfect because that's very similar to fighting games. Usually it's best of three or best of five, yep. right? So uh, there's definitely a system there in place. Uh, as far as how you know, as far as how a tournament environment will work in this game, I'm not really sure. Will people want to be at online tournaments, or will offline tournaments be more likely, or what's the best way? I'm not really sure. Uh, that will probably be up to Pierre and the crew in the end, but um, I'm interested to help out where I can and yeah, man. try. I want to yeah. play in the tournaments myself and see how well I yeah. do. Yeah, totally. This is the thing because like. Pierre's mentioned that they're trying to get the ranking system working and stuff like that for online ranked kind of stuff, but I think this definitely has a lot of potential for tournaments. I, so. I saw that there's even kind of potential for a little bit of showmanship because you could almost like script certain things and do almost like a WWE style fight, just have people bursting in and... <laughs> run-ins yeah <laughs> oh yeah here's some of the game modes so i think the only one that i can do right now is 1v1 yeah. uh, the way it works is i'll launch it i'm not sure if anyone will connect to it uh we're almost out of time anyway yeah. so. we're almost out of time but also uh yeah probably there's no one playing at the moment yeah there's probably not well, this is our anyway, last one right yeah this this, this will be the last game of the day it's i the believe last game of the day uh but okay, i hope that you taken... guys enjoyed it it's been really nice here to be honest, it's the last game of the day anyway, so who cares if we go over time a few yeah, minutes, yeah. right? Doesn't matter, we can wait a couple of minutes. They're tearing everything down now, though. Okay, you know, that's the that flags are coming go, down. Right. They're taking everything well, down. Well, they haven't given us the stink eye yet, so I will take this they opportunity given us to the stink play more Absolver. They, they don't seem to have told all the like general public that they got to get out, mm. but they are taking all the flags down okay. and everything there. So hey, I, I, so most of the other it's players. It's that one uh -huh. guy who did that it's one game. Over. Spooky's. Yeah, just trying it out. Trying some 1v1. He's like loving it. Hey, uh, do you want to grab a headset, dude, or are you just going out to walk around? Uh, dude, we'll, we'll probably be done soon, but yeah, yeah. That's fine. Dude, get on it. That was Pierre, one of the uh, developers he's, of this game. He's the one of the developers. He taught me a lot about the game itself and uh, what you can do with the system and things of that nature. He's also very good at the game himself. So this guy's not just a guy who's a dev. Like, he's played, and I've seen what his 1v1 is like, and he's obviously super good. He's pretty good. Have you anyway, 1v1'd him yourself yet? Yeah? No, I watched him 1v1 Max, and it was like he was, oh, being, he he was, he was, he was being super nice to Max and giving him breaks, but it was obvious that, like, he if he was, wanted to, he could just, like, dance circles around yeah, him the yeah. entire time. Okay. So that guy, he's no joke, <laughs> that's all we're saying. So let's, uh, before we go, let's check out, I guess, the rest of what's here, social. Okay, I guess there's like co-op groups and stuff. Groups. Okay, I see, that's pretty cool. Uh, game modes, uh, the only one that's unlocked right now is 1v1. I believe that second one is supposed to be 3v3, mm -hmm. and uh, the other two are, are just locked completely Secrets. for this beta, so we yeah. have no idea what they will be but I'm interested this to see. In fact, this isn't even beta. The beta hasn't even opened yet. This oh, this is like alpha. Yeah, I didn't is, realize that. This is early. Okay. So uh, let's take a peek at the combat deck one but more time. Th there will be a beta, by the way. And if you're uh, someone watching Devolver Public Access, I know for sure, and hopefully we can hook something up with Expert as well, we're going to try and get some guilds going and get some viewers playing and stuff like that. So that's hopefully something we can get an expert team together as yeah. well. That'd be sweet. So here's the styles. Unfortunately for me, I only have uh, the absorb style, which is like the armor style. And then yeah. I have the, the stagger style, which is actually the drunken style. This one got unlocked as I played for a while. Uh, the stagger style uh, has much different moves than this style. You can even see that their stance is completely different. So uh, let's take a look at some of the moves that I can do in this stance. Uh, here's the combat deck for it, and I'll just use number two. So you can see, oh wow, you, so I can still have access to the drunken attacks? Did I, really? Is that how it works? Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's really useful. Oh, I like that. Oh, so even though you've changed... Styles, because I was in the drunken style for a while and I learned moves of that got, style, I can use moves. them in other styles. That's really nice. sick. I didn't realize that it works that way. That's awesome. Well, I guess I like unlocks, right? In other yeah, games, there are like unlocks. unlocks it and... There are it's some attacks. There are some attacks that you can only do from certain stances and things of that nature. Or some are like, well, I can only do this attack if I'm in a back turn stance or yeah. a forward turn stance. But uh, it's pretty flexible in general as what you can do and what combos. I really like that it tells you exactly what the attacks do, so you can really decide. Okay, I want to have a bunch of heavy hitting attacks and just be absorb style, yeah. right? And I'll absorb your hit and then raw, I'll get you. Yeah, or okay, yeah, yeah. since I'm playing evade style, I want to have lots of fast attacks so I can evade and then 
punish your recovery really easily. Nice. So uh, they've tried their best to be flexible in that nature and cater to many different play styles. Uh, I like that a lot about it. It definitely appeals to me. Um, there's also like uh, different st uh, decks, so I can be like, okay, here's one deck of attacks, and then really quickly, okay, I'm going into this area, so I'll switch to this deck of attacks. Um, what does this one do? Is this another bare hand? Hey, so I had a question. Sure. What's up, John? So if you're doing like 1v1 online. <laughs> I like that you're sort of slightly Hello. Hey. Hey. John Marshall here. Yeah. <laughs> John on the one scene. Point. Is, so it's, uh, when you do like 1v1, is it round based, I guess? Is that how it works? Yeah, it's like three out of five rounds. Oh, okay, okay. So it even puts you in an environment where there's like ring outs. So you oh, could cool. like, let's say you have like an attack oh, that snap, blows them back. Out? Yeah, you can That's just cool. knock them out of the house that they're fighting in. And wow, they fall off and you win that round. Yeah. So are there like some weapons laid down like house throwing style? Or? I don't think so. I think it's based on the attacks you have. So okay, if you okay. have a good sword, then you bring that with you in the combat. That's just how it is. Oh. Uh, that being said, because you have to build meters, to use the sword and the heal and the other skills, uh, there's kind of a back and forth there, right? Well, what if I want to heal? Oh, whoops, I wasted all my meter on my sword. Now I can't heal myself, and, you know, it's more easy for the opponent to defeat me. Yeah. So uh, there's definitely, a, what from what I can tell, they've thought about the balance, even in the sword style, right? Uh, I, belie I believe that there's attacks that I can get just in this style. Uh, yeah, let's see, like, there's one that's like a no stab. Here's a tendon slice. Uh, or I can have drunk stomp in the sword style. That's cool. Are there any other sword attacks that I missed out on? Reverse Sharp Slash. That looks cool. It has a lot of power also. Yeah, man. One thing nice about the sword attacks is they hit multiple enemies really easily. And I think I mentioned this before, but they do chip damage too. So that's yeah. cool. All right. Man, I mean, this game is looking nice. I feel like you could I'm probably talk about it for hours I, on end. If, if we didn't have to go, I would probably sit here Just and play Just sit here and play, learn more about it, get to know it. Yeah, yeah anyway, I'm really feel. excited about this game. I hope that you guys will be too. Uh, we have many great fighting games already coming. We've talked yeah. about the Dragon Ball Z Fighter yep. by Arxis. That's going to be amazing. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite coming within the next three months. But uh, definitely check out Absolver. The release date is August 29th. Uh, it's going to be on Steam PC, and I believe that there's also a PlayStation 4 version. Yep, Although I don't PS4. know if it releases at the same time as a PC. Maybe it does. I'm not sure on that one. But I'm August not going to say anything 100% because I'm not sure. I'm either. not sure either. But August 29th, I know that's the official release for the yes. Steam version. Perhaps the PS4 one releases at the same time. I'm not sure on that one. Uh, anyway, definitely check it out. Follow them. Wishlist them. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you know, send them some tweets and beg to be in the beta. Maybe they'll let you in because they're, uh, you know, they're trying to let Maybe. people in and try it out.